is Kwai Vi Tina and today I'm going to be doing a DIY on how to make um, Christmas ornaments. And if you do celebrate Christmas, these are nice to hang on to your Christmas trees or just around your house such as your doorknobs to the doors. So these are the end results of mine. Yours might vary uh, or at least be similar to mine depending on what you use. Okay, so let's just start with the materials. So first you're going to be needing some ribbons or ribbon and I just purchased mine from Target, Walmart, and other craft stores such as Michael's. Then you're going to need a pair of scissors. This is just um, to cut your ribbons. Then you're going to need an X-Acto knife or a hole puncher to make a slit through your ribbon just so you can um, loop the string through so you are able to hang your ornaments on the Christmas tree. Then you're going to be needing a hot glue gun and if you are going to be using a hot glue gun, which you should, you're going to um, be needing some you know, extra glue sticks depending on how many you make. Okay, so let's just get started. So I'm going to be using this holographic like um, ribbon and I'm going to be cutting off 12 inches of this or around it. So here it is, and I'm going to be making four strips from this 12 inch um, ribbon. And each strip should be around three inches. So one, two, three, four. Now, of course, you might have some extra, you can just throw it in trash. So after you get your four strips, I'm going to be separating them into little groups of two. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking my hot glue gun and for one of the strips, I'm going to be putting a dot of glue in the middle. Afterwards, I'm going to be taking that same strip from the pair and I'm going to be placing it to the middle or at least where the glue dot was at or is at. And now you're just gonna let it sit and dry and it should look like a cross or like a plus sign. And if you want, you can adjust it if you think it looks kind of crooked. And for the other two strips, I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing. If you aren't using a hot glue gun for the very first time, just be careful. because it is really hot. Okay, so now let me taking the first pair that I made. You also wanna work um, on like a surface where you don't mind getting dirty or ruined. So now for one of the pairs, I'm gonna be taking a hot, the hot glue gun again and put a glue dot in the middle, like so. And taking the other pair that I just made, the second one, I'm going to be placing it like that so it creates like an X. So it should cross like so. And this is what it should look like so far. So now I'm going to be moving the hot glue gun aside and now I'm going to be taking my X-Acto knife. If you don't have an X-Acto knife, you can definitely use a pair of scissors. And what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be making a slit through one of the strips of ribbon. And as you can see, it should create a hole. And I'm just going to do this, just to make the hole a little bigger. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking another different type of ribbon that's a bit thinner than the one I used to make the actual ornament, like the base of the ornament. And I'm going to be cutting off at least six inches off. Now I'm going to be finding, I'm going to find a slit and just loop it through. Okay, 
Now I'm going to double knot this just to secure it and so it won't fall off your Christmas tree or wherever you um, hang it at. So you can cut off the extra. I'm just gonna leave it on just to give it that homemade feel. Now you're going to be, I don't know if I showed this to you guys, but you can also add little decorations to it. I just have these two buttons, a white one and a pink one. And I also have these rhinestones. I'm just gonna be using the buttons. So I'm gonna be using one of the white ones. Let's see, I'm gonna be using this. So with my hot glue gun again, as you can tell, the hot glue gun is pretty important into making a, this ornament. Okay. And now I'm going to place it in the middle of the ornament. Just press it down just a little. Don't press it down too much unless you want all the hot glue to rise up above the button. So as you can see, this is what your end result should look like. And now you can just hang this onto your doorknob. It looks so, so pretty. Um, I did make more today. I just thought these were so cool to make and so cheap and easy. And you can also, again, hang them around your house, such as like your doorknobs or drawers. It's just very pretty and again, super easy to make. And all of this, like all the materials I used, I purchased them for under $20 total. So as you can see, that's a super, you know, cheap price on, you know, making all of these ornaments. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!